Hello and welcome again. Okay, in one of our uh, new lessons, always of written expression, and we continue. Okay, always with our courses and lessons about mechanics of the language. The mechanics of the language. Now, in our previous lesson, okay, we dealt with the first, okay, uh, case, all right, of mechanics. We should consider whenever we start writing any sentence. Okay, it is a capitalization. All right. Today, I'm going to start, okay, from the end. It means we'll try to explore, okay, how to end an English sentence, or what we call the end marks of the English sentence. Now, of course, here we have different end marks, and the, uh, the choice of the right mark depends on the quality or the nature of this sentence, nature of this sentence. But usually, okay, we have three major end marks, okay, three major end marks, which are, okay, the full stop of the period, the question mark, and the exclamation mark. Now, in fact, this lesson, okay, of uh, end marks represents the beginning of a long course of punctuation marks. Clear? It's another element, okay, of mechanics we must consider whenever we write, okay, English sentences, uh, paragraphs, essays, uh, and so on. Clear? So, we'll start with this lesson because it's very simple and easy. All right. And also the mark we did with them in this lesson are, okay, very common and familiar, okay, to uh, almost all learners, all learners. So let's start, okay, with our lesson about end marks. And with the first mark, which ends the sentence, which is the first part. Number one, right? The full stop. Now the British call it full stop, and the Americans call it the period. Clear? The the period. And here is its shape. Its shape. Now the first use, okay of this mark at the end of a sentence concerns what? What we call, okay, declarative sentences. These are sentences, clear, which uh, state uh, facts, okay, and issues about something or somebody, about something or somebody. So, first, we use the full stop, number one, to end declarative sentences or what we call in some books also grammar they are called this statements because they state something about okay uh, subjects or something about uh, the action and so on statements for example I write uh, the government uh, built houses. Full stop. Here we have a statement and declarative sentence which has the common structure of subject, verb, clear, plus okay, uh, the other uh, elements. So, it must be, okay, ended with or by a full stop, by a full stop, go. Also, we have another case, okay, or another type of sentences, okay, which ends with a full stop. Stop writing. Don't please look back. Right. Help me, please. So all these are what? They are orders, or what we call imperatives, what we call imperatives. But here we have to distinguish between two types of imperatives. If the imperative 
Okay, he is very strong and powerful. Here, we mustn't, okay, and it with a full stop. But if it is uh, only mild or uh, not strong, okay, imperative, mild one, here it ends with a full stop. So we write, second case, here it depends on the speaker's intention, a writer's intention. Decide whether it is strong or not strong. So, for example, uh, to end. Uh, less emphatic and mild. It means weak, not strong. Okay, imperatives. Imperatives. For instance, we have what? Uh, help me with this bag. With this bag. But usually, usually most imperatives, okay, and in full stop. Okay, in full stop. Good. Also, we have a third case, which concerns, okay, the second type of questions. Now, as you know, we have direct questions and indirect questions, or what we call reported questions. Now, in the case of reported questions, now, as you know, always in English, the reported question, okay, takes the form of a statement. All right takes the form of a statement. So, number three. In direct, we use to stop to end. Okay. In direct. All right. Or, what we call, report. Huh? Questions. Questions, because these okay when they are turned into uh, the question turned into uh, uh, in that question they take the form of a statement. Clear. Not right. He asked where I lived. Where I lived. Where I lived. Now, as you see here, we have with the statement a subject, then a verb. Here also we have subject and verb. Okay. And WH word plus also subject and verb. It is the same, okay, structure of the statement. So these are, okay, the different types of sentences which, okay, uh, end with a full stop. With a full stop. Go. The second, okay, end mark, okay, we use, okay, to end, okay, a particular type of sentences is what we call the question. Mark on the question point also the question point and as its name indicates okay it is used to end questions now we're talking about question okay in fact the structure of the question okay uh, is different from the structure of what of the statement all right the statement statements have the common structure of subject plus verb plus okay the rest now the structure of the question, okay, takes, okay, what we call an interrogative structure. An interrogative structure, okay, with the three types of questions, okay. Yes, no questions, WS questions, and also tag questions. So, usually we say, we use the question mark, 
Okay, number one. To end interrogative. Rogative sentences. All right, sentences. Whether these sentences, okay, take the form of A. Yes, no. Questions? All right. Example, you write. Are you here? O B W H word question. We we'll start with one of the H words, like when, who, who, okay, uh, who, whose, all right, why, how, and so on. So I'm going write the first one, which is why are you here? Right, why are you here? Now, as you see here, we have what? A reversed order of the elements in the interrogative, huh? Uh, sentence we had usually or we have usually the verb then right the subject here also we have then each word then we have the verb then the subject clear that's why it is considered as interrogative All right also we have the third case C with the tag questions Questions. These are, you can say, questions which are asked for the sake of confirming or confirmation. Clear. The weather is fine, isn't it? Or you look tired, aren't you? Clear. These also require an answer with yes or no, but they are considered as a specific type of questions in English grammar. And this also should be ended by. A question mark. Other is lovely, isn't it? The weather. Is fine. Comma. Isn't it? So here also we end okay our question with what? A question. And here is okay. Our second end mark with its okay different uh, types of interrogative sentences. Now we move on to our okay third end mark, which is called the exclamation mark or point. The Exclamation mark or point, and here is its shape. It's like this, right? Now, as its name indicates, this uh, mark is used to end, okay, what we call exclamatory sentences. Exclamatory sentences, these okay, are sentences which are used to express okay, uh, wonder, okay, exclamation, surprise, uh, I don't know, uh, uh, amazement, and so on. Clear? And so on. And they usually start with two WH words. So, right, the first case with them we have, they are used to end. Exclamatory sentences, huh? which usually huh? start with the two prominent WH words. What and how? 
For example, the right. What a nice car he has. How intelligent. He is. Now, as you see here, we have two grammatical sentences which start with what, the other with how, which words, okay, in particular, and which end, okay, with this selection point. And if you compare between, okay, this or this type of sentences and the statement, we find them similar in, in terms of structure. Okay, it means you start with what and how. Okay, and you continue with the common structure. It means your sentence should include subject, then verb. Subject, then verb. Clear. Unlike the interrogative, okay, sentence. Clear. So here we are with two exclamatory sentences. All right, which start with what or how which and with this exclamation mark or point also okay you may use this point after even okay common uh, sentences okay common sentences that don't start neither with what or how okay for example i write uh, it is very interesting very Interesting. Now here, as if the speaker or the reader or the writer, clear, is expressing his wonder, admiration, surprise, clear, at something, at something. So it depends always on the writer's intention. Okay. So we should read as a statement, full stop, or as an exclamation. Okay, and end it with this point. All right, exclamation point. Good. Also, we have number case, okay, in which we use, okay, at the end, this mark. This case concerns a particular part of speech, right, which we use to express uh, feelings, emotions, also surprise, uh, admiration, shock, and so on. Clear. So, when I used, okay, to end what we call interjections, interjections, like Oh, wow, hooray, whoa, and so on. Clear. But here also we have two cases with interjections. If the interjection is strong and powerful, here we use exclamation point. But in case this interjection, okay, is only mild, weak, not strong, writers usually, okay, they put after it only a comma, only a comma. So he write second case, we use it to end what? Strong huh? interjections, interjections, strong interjections, for instance, oh, Uh, wow, hooray, and so on. Wow, hooray, and so on. But in case, okay, this projection is mild or, okay, uh, weak, not strong, it is followed by only a comma. That's why, in case you find us into comma, it's not a mistake. But it is, okay, here, a different case. A different case of, okay, uh, expression. Expression. Also, the third case, okay, concerns another strong type of elements, okay, or type of sentences. All right, now in our first mark, for stop, we said it is used to end what? Polite huh? and less emphatic, what? Imperatives. But in case the imperative is very strong, here we should use exclamation point. So we write here to end. Huh? Strong mm -hmm. 
imperatives. That's why sometimes you find after certain uh, uh, orders, for example, be careful, watch out, and exclamation point, stop also sometimes. This means that this, this uh, imperative is very strong, is very strong. So here we are now with three cases, okay, in which we uh, put this exclamation point as an end mark at the end of our sentence, play our sentence. Of course, we need always to point out the fact that, okay, these punctuation marks in general, okay, they act as road signs, okay, to show us, okay, uh, where to stop, where to continue, okay, and so on, and also to organize our sentences and our ideas, the flow of our ideas, okay, to make them organized and coherent, okay, when they are interrelated, okay, and also relate them coherently, coherently, that's why we need to continue with this important course, okay, and next time we'll explore, okay, uh, the first mark, okay, with its different cases, with, of course, uh, the appropriate, right, illustrative examples. So, see you then, and good luck.